And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the seasonal event, the Moon Fire Fair, for 2015. And this event runs from Tuesday, the 11th of August, until the 7th of September. So you have a good sort of four weeks to get this done. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in Upper Limsa Laminsa at 11.13. To start it, you need to talk to this guy. He's called um, Heyamaga. And the first quest is called Reigniting the Festivities. Now, what's different about Final Fantasy XIV is that seasonal events are different every year. So even if they have the same name, even if it is a same event that did happen last year, the quests are completely different and unique. So it is worth doing them every year because they do change. So anyway, the Mufai Affair is in full swing and Heimaga... Uh, is ready to outdo himself once again with the help of a certain adventurer. This quest is available for a limited time only because it's seasonal. So, ah, if it isn't Mifri, as you can see, the Moonfire Fair is back and more explosive than ever. Ever since the Bombards were beat back five years ago, we've kept the tradition strong in remembrance. Now, it's been a while since anyone's seen a Bombard, but that doesn't mean we can't celebrate every year, and maybe even get a few more interested in joining the guild while we're at it. Of course, we couldn't call it a fair if we cared about... Sorry, if all we cared about was recruiting new members. Nay, our main purpose is to win the hearts of the common people with unforgettable food and other goods. Last year's fair was a rousing success thanks to you. And it just so happens we could use your aid again. Our chaperones in Costa del Sol are dealing with a host of problems that threaten to ruin the atmosphere. Please, we can't let our hard work go to waste. Make your way to the beaches of Costa del Sol and speak with our chaperone, uh, Pob Yayon. I don't even know, Pob Nayayon. I, I have not even going to try to pronounce that name. The guild is counting on you. Okay, so let's go to straight to Costa del Sol. And it is still one of my favorite destinations to go to ever since Final Fantasy XIV came out. Who knows if it will forever bore, forever bore, forever more be one of my favorite locations. So anyway, let's go. Oh nice, so they've set up an extra, like, seasonal only hub over here, which is pretty cool. Oh, a lot of people here. So here is Piobion. Piobiano. Please someone tell me how to pronounce the name in the comments down below. So, ah, so you're the adventurer that Heimagus sent word of. What's your name, friend? Mifri Menafil, pleased to make your acquaintance. It's always an honor to meet a guildmate that's eager to help out. Thanks for to the efforts of members like you. There's no sort of shortage of work to go around. In fact, you might even say there's too much. That's why this fair is so important. We need to attract as many potential new guildmates as possible. So this year we wanted to host in a location that's that would bring people from arms around. With beautiful beaches of silky soft sand, we decided Costa del Sol was the perfect place. And thanks to Master Gigi, Gigi Ruju, our dream is a reality. These names. So it seems the fair is coming along nicely. It's, it has been too, too long since the last Moonfire Fair. You could not have picked a more fitting place than Costa del Sol. Master Gigi Ruju <laughs> uh, fearlessly uh, met the bombards in battle, surrounded by his faithful maidservants. Our armor held fast against their flames until we were victorious. Truly, it is a sight to behold.
So, armor, truth be told, it didn't look too different than what I'm wearing now. Gigi Ruju certainly seems to be looking forward to the fair. Ah oh, well, as long as he's letting us use his land, he also provides our guild with plenty of work through the petitioning of guild leaves. Any road, I know you've come here to help, and there's no end to the troubles we're facing. We've got pirates, dirty beaches, and noisy, sorry, nosy beasts aplenty. So, over there's our head cook. Yeah. And over there's Espan. Both of them have been going on about needing more help, so Ivor will be glad to receive yours. Now, we're not asking you to do all this for free, oh no. You'll receive fair tokens for your troubles, which you can exchange for all kinds of wonderful gifts. What's more, I've prepared a special gift for you, for our most devoted supporters. Talk to me again if that picks your interest. Once you're ready to lend a hand, speak to one of our chaperones. I'm sure with your help, this year's Moonfire Fair will be one to remember. So fair tokens can be obtained from particular fates occurring around Costa del Sol. Fair tokens can also be obtained by completing quest from Tia and Espan. Awesome. We have a bunch of tracers as rewards. Nice. So let's see. Quest. Why can't we do this quest actually? Why is it red? Does it require crafting or something? Ah, you have to be actually a fisher for this one. That's interesting. So, okay. So let's see what the next quest is called. So, an adventurer's life for me, and we'll receive a Southern Sea swimsuit. So, Pobiano, oh God help me, is waiting for someone to ask her about her special prize. Wink, wink. So, I wager you're eager to hear about my special prize, huh? Well, only brave and industrious adventurers who manage to collect seven fair tokens are worthy to receive it. Trust me, you won't regret it. Once you've collected seven of the tokens, bring them to me. I'll be waiting for you. So, to proceed with this quest, you must be in possession of seven or more fair tokens. Okay. And let's see here. So, a matter of taste. So, you can't help but notice how awfully busy Tia looks. It would be a shame to leave him to his own devices. So, ah, you've... Weighed your options and decided to help Tia, eh? You have my thanks, and I promise it will be a mite more enjoyable than what Espan would have you do. I am here to fill the stomachs of our lovely fair goers with battered fish, but so many of us are dealing with the pirates, I can barely keep up with the man. If you'd like to help, we're always in need of battered fish. You can buy Haddock, the main ingredient from the festive fisher just over there. Bring them to me when you're done. Okay, so I guess we need to do some cooking, apparently. Now, let's equip our fisher and let's talk to Espan. So this quest is called What's in the Dish? You can tell from Espan's expression that he believes himself to be the busiest man at the stall. So, ah, you seem like a woman of more refined tastes. I've just got the job for you. I've got just a job for you. I'm selling battered fish made only with only fresh haddock. However, with the pirates around mucking things up, with not enough fishermen to bring in a steady supply, care to try your hand at catching a few fish? Don't even think of buying them from the merchant over there. I can smell their rancid stench from here. Hop aboard the Rotano Privateer and bring me any haddock you manage to catch. So to board the Rotano privateer, speak with the ferry skipper at the docks. Fresh Hadder can be caught by fishing from the bow of the privateer. Okay. Do I have any bait? I don't have any bait on me. I need to go get some. 
So let's see. So let's at least talk to this vendor first. So is it this guy, Festive Fisher? It's okay, Haddock. Oh, so this person. Okay, so this person sells plenty of stuff. So I tell you what, let's get some spoon worms. That seems to be the highest level one. And let's see, Haddock, Haddock. So anyway, let's look for the battered. Battered, here you go, battered fish. So for this, we need haddock. Obtain a fresh haddock. So we need just one. So I'm going to just make five because, you know, I'm, I'm a freak. And does he sell all the rest of the materials we need? Uh, olive oil, nope. Table salt, nope. Po Potos, nope. Uh, I'm fairly sure pretty much all of those can be bought from a vendor, so that's no problem. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to try and capture a fresh haddock. So when they said about going to the end of the dock, they mean the dock right here. And because I remember I actually used to come to fish from here to try and capture the Nepto Dragon at level 50. I still haven't caught it yet, just from bad luck, let's say. But hopefully now it'll be a lot easier given that I am much higher level. So yep, yeah, let's go to the privateer. So it's nice as always that they're trying to get more and more people into crafting and gathering. So let's see. Forecastle left. Oh whatever, let's just fish from this side. Okay. Fishy, fish, fish. Hopefully it won't take too long to capture a fresh haddock. Pirate related activities or blah. I mean, of course, I am well above to capture a level 5 fish, given I'm level 60. But that's what I love about the game, is that you can just choose like which direction you're going to go. In terms of crafting, gathering, battle classes, PvP, there's so many options in this game. There we go, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's all it takes to get the that quest done. Yep, so let's return to Costa del Sol. And if you want to unlock Fisher, you just need to go to Limza Liminza and the, go to the Fisherman's Guild to unlock it. It's very, very straightforward. Okay, let's get rid of... Whoops. We don't need that finger shrimp, so let's save some bags. Well, actually, I'll just fender it. Whatever. I'm assuming it's a daily quest, so... Oh, there are fates as well, so maybe the fates will give us tokens. So let's hand over the fresh haddock. Okay, hand over. So, yes, the sheen of the scales, the lingering smell of salt water. It's as if the fish jumped straight from the ocean and into my hands. A tasteless fool such as Tia would never appreciate the delight of frying something so fresh. You have my thanks, of course. More fish are always welcome. Pray deliver them to me if you catch any more. Okay. So it is a repeatable quest. So if I wanted to get seven, in theory, I could just capture six more. But what we're now going to do for the sake of it, we're going to take part in this fate. I don't think we have time. Um, I think it's just about to end. Okay. And as I said, the doing the seasonal events it is fun. It gives extra random stories, it gives you achievements, it gives you minions, it gives you outfits, it gives you so many other things just for the sake of like a couple of hours of time every other month, you know, it's like it's really not a big deal. Okay, there's 18 seconds left, so let's just turn in what we have. Dover, yep. I'm assuming that obviously, given that I've only turned in one, that I'm barely going to get any reward, but whatever. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, nice. So I got two tokens for that. Cool. So next, we're going to go and do the battered fish because it's very simple to make. The only problem is we need to go to a vendor to buy the rest of the materials. Actually, let's see if any of these have got materials to sell. No. Nope. And I don't think so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the materials I need in order to make the battered fish. And once I have them all, we will continue. Okay, so we were able to gather all the materials for the battered fish. And the good thing about battered fish is that you can't quick sim them, but you could also you can't high quality them, so you just make them as quickly as you can. Olive oil and table salt you can buy from the Sahagen vendor if you want to do it quickly. Uh, Popotos you can gather through uh, gathering level uh, 16 to 20 as a botanist. And you gather them from Sandgate in Eastern Fanalan, which is this sort of region just sort of to the north, sorry, southeast of Cam Drybone. So we have the materials. We can make like 99 of these battered fish if we want. So let's hand it in to Tia. So we barely enough battered fish to feed hungry fair goers. Bring me any that you can before we're forced to turn people away. So let's hand over, battered fish, hand over. So marvelous. I'd eat it myself if it weren't so many customers. Espan just doesn't understand the demand. He's likely still fussing over the freshness of the fish. But when you're hungry, it's all the same once it's fried and battered. So, you have my thanks. The Moonfire Fair has no shortage of hungry revelers. So speak to me if you feel like cooking for us again. Okay, so that's complete. So, let's see. Can we do this again? Seems to be a repeatable quest. Yes, we can. So cool. So it's good that we have materials for 99, so we can get as many of these tokens as we like. So, let's see. I need two more. Have I got two more? Okay, I don't think I have two more, but I can just quickly make them now. I've got way the more materials than I need. And gathering the 99 Popotos literally took like 10 minutes. It really wasn't a big deal. It was very, very quick. So you can do fake grinding, or you could just do this to get tokens. It's completely up to you. Because it really doesn't require that high level of cooking and gathering and stuff. You need level 5 cooking and level like 15 uh, botanists. It's really easy. So again, let's turn these in. Whoops. I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Except... I just want to get to the 7 so I can see what the last part of the quest is. Okay. And there's no macro for <laughs> this crafting. You just hit synthesis and you win. Simple as that. Okay, complete. Done. So that's the 7 done. So let's talk to our friend... Pobiyano. So, only seven fair tokens for my special prize. So, how many have you brought? Okay, seven. Hand over. So, the Adventurer's Guild thanks you. The Moonfire Fair is shaping up to be a rousing success. I was afraid this year's fair would be a disaster due to all of our difficulties. But people from Malms around here have showed up for the food and festivities. That ass. So, the beach is alive with such heavenly sights and sounds, giggity. So, Master Jijiru is certainly enjoying himself. So, move your asses, this beach belongs to us. Okay, so, revelers, go ah. So, what? Is that a pirate? He's frightening off the lovely scenery. You must do something about this at once. 
Uh, yes, of course, Master Jijiru. We're already dealing with the problem. Mifri, you do it. So my apologies, Mifri, but I have one last thing to ask you before you get your reward. We can't have pirates harassing our guests and disturbing the fair. There must be a way we can solve this peacefully. I have a mind to speak with him myself, but you saw how angry he was. I dare not go along. Please accompany me, Mifri. Go ahead. I'll catch up after I've found someone to look after the stall. Cool. So, before I talk to him, I'm going to just quickly equip Paladin. Okay, so where are we going? Oh, okay, so we have to go all the way up here. Just in case there's a fight, you know, it's like, I want to be able to just, you know, kapow. Okay, here he is. He's a pirate. Arr. So, you, you were the one storming up and down the beach, scaring our guests. What gives you the right? You'd best get back to your stall. Lest you're itching for a fight. The only thing I'm itching for is to fill our guest stomachs with battered fish. I might be kind enough to give you one if you tell me why you insist on sabotaging our fare. Hmm, so you want to know what's got us angry? Well, if it means a free meal, I might as well tell you our tale. You see, this land was once ours to settle under the Admiral's settlement initiative. The cruel soul of the sea made tilling the soil near impossible, but the blood and sweat we put into our work made us love it nonetheless. Then Jijiru struts in and buys up all of it from under us, land that was ours by rights. What's a landless lot like us to do but run back to piracy, and to see people making merry on beaches that were once ours, it makes my blood boil. So, um, you, what you went through, it'd make anyone angry, but this land was never fit for settling. Might be it was put to better use when Master Jijiru turned it into one of Lanosia's premier resorts. Nimza Laminza received a hefty sum of coin for this land, a coin which was probably used to help others in trouble. There might be blame for your troubles to go around, but what's done is done, and there's no choice but to keep going. You might have lost your land, but piracy isn't the only way to make a living. There's plenty of options, like adventuring. We get all kinds of requests for work at the guild. You've had plenty of practice with a blade, right? You never want to work with us. Join your guild? I'd rather drink my fill of seawater. Get out of here if you know what's good for you. <laughs> Mifri's like, uh-huh. Uh, you, who in the hells are you? Mifri's been kind enough to help around the fair. Mifri, the name rings familiar. Yes, I've heard the tale of your deeds while drinking at the Drowning Wench. Made for a good bit of entertainment, they did. Didn't expect to see you here helping with the fair, though. Work hard with the Adventurers Guild, and people might tell stories about you over cups of mead. Ain't that better than a life of piracy? You mean, I could become a storied adventurer? Many have done it before, you won't know until you try. You're right, I'll only find out by trying. Gotta start from the bottom. Ain't no value without hard work, I suppose. 
In fact, the Moonfire Fair is being put on by the Adventurers Guild. Just give us a shout at the stall and we can tell you all about the work that we do. Ah, so it was your guild. Uh, let me think on the offer. I'll tell my companions as well. Might be that there's some that'll be interested. So, well, that was the most thrilling part of my day. Thankfully you were by my side, else I would have forgotten what to say. Well, I suppose it's time to return to hosting the stall. The Adventurers Guild will do its best to welcome even pirates with open arms. And for all your help, I suppose you finally deserve your reward. You've earned it. Okay, so let's get our Southern Seas swimsuit. And we got the achievement, All's Fair in Love and War 2. Awesome. So let's take a look at the achievements. Now these seasonal event achievements, they only appear when you've earned them. Like there isn't some list of achievements which are just blank until you earn them. They just randomly appear after you've done the event. And like I said, they're different year to year. Simple as that. So um, this achievement, All's Fair that ends in Love and War 2 will not be there next year. If you have, if you don't earn it now, it just won't be on your list. So anyway, let's talk to her again. I'm just curious if there's any other rewards that we can buy. Let's see. Over there. How do I obtain tokens? What well, are tokens? Are okay, nope. Let's see if there's any other vendors around here. Okay, it doesn't seem to be. I mean, we could just, for extra tokens, we can just turn in an infinite amount of battered fish to Tia. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to return to Limsa Lamenza just to see if there's any other vendors for us. Maybe that person there could have been one. But anyway, so let's go back to the Aft Castle because where you start the quest chain from tends to be where you're able to buy additional rewards. Not always, but it tends to be. Okay, so people here. So there's a few people like dotted around, but they don't seem to sell anything. I don't know if it's going to happen later. But we will see. I will link in the description of the video as well. Um, the link to the official page of the event. If you want the extra information. But yeah, that one NPC that was just standing there that we haven't spoken to yet. We'll just check quickly if that's a vendor. Uh, and if not, we'll just end the episode there. But like I say, guys, um, do the events when they're there. They're only there for a short time. And you might regret it later if you don't do it. Simple as that. There might be some rewards in some of these events which you can't get again. So let's see. Let's talk to this person. This talk was not in the way. Uh, Okay, it doesn't say anything. Is there a vendor? Oh, here we go. Moonfire Fair vendor. Silly me, silly me. So prizes, one of the female prizes, because Mithri is female. So there you go, look. You can buy all this stuff, all these different outfits, but you need lots and lots of tokens. So I will now just, you know, use my 99 battered fish and get them let's see you can get tracers you can get a wind chime there doesn't seem to be any minions this year or any mounts or anything so it's just a case of um get all of these rewards see the ones um as well you can store most of these in the armoire i hope and then yeah so just get what you like guys and that's it so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from mifree